do now is actually I want to create a door. Uh, so basically, actually you should draw draw out the actual your floor plan before you start drawing out uh, doors and or where windows are going to be located. So I do recommend drawing a floor plan first, but for the sake of just doing a door, I'm just going to show you how it's done. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to turn off this plywood layer because I'm not going to be I don't need it right now. So it's the wall plywood, and I'm going to keep the two by fours because I'm going to need those. Now I'm going to start my two my door from here on end. So I'm going to delete this one so you have space, and I'm going to place one over here. So I'm going to move I'm going to move too far. Let me just fix that. It needs to be placed up here. There we go. And it's going to be a 30 inch opening. So I'm going to actually need to move the actual distance plus one and a half. So 31.5, I believe. I think that gets deleted. So that's a 30 inch door. You can do a, as, le as little as 24, but under that, that's just going to be a hard squeeze. But 24 is. A so walking sideways inside, pretty much. So that's up to you. You can, you can, you can, you can just, yeah, just don't eat too much. Besides, if you eat too much, you'll probably. Oh yeah. Hey, it's, it, we're gonna ship these to like Japan because they're used to it. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, I have a 30-inch opening. Now that doesn't include the actual frame for the door, which is gonna be placed inside. I think the, does that hold on let me just ask somebody to get in the frame of the door we need an inch and a half so what we're going to just do is just take this two by four and just move it itself once that's inch and a half exactly so the actual opening is 31 and a half so we have a one and a half inch space for the frame of the door uh, the height of the door will be 80 inches high, so we need an opening of 80 inches. So 72 is six foot. That's not 70 inches. Six foot eight is 80 inches. So, so yeah, 81 and a half. We'll do the rough opening at 81 and a half. I gotta change my UCX to a front or left or something. There we go. Left view. We're going to do 81.5. And of course, that 2x4 can't be going like that. I'm just going to first move it over here to align with there. And I'm going to have to stretch this one back. Now, it's going to be a little tricky because this 2x4 is in the way of getting me selecting that face. So, a trick I know I, I can use is I can move this 2x4 at a making sure my ortho is on a specified distance of like 50 and I can start reducing it from here so I'm just going to go to modify style editing extrude faces I'm going to select this face right here enter I'm going to go negative about 36 inches that's just a rough estimate I can always put it back now to 50 and I can finish it up by going back to extruding face and the only problem here is if you extrude a distance, you can actually extend it instead of subtracting it. So I can measure it out instead. So I go to top view, measuring it out. And oh, there's a dimension. It's 21 and a half. Hopefully you guys can remember that. I'll do 21 and a half, extrude. Just like that. Enter negative 21 and a half. Oh, I thought I did it. Let me try that again. Modify. Saw the street faces. Select the face. Enter. Negative 21.5. There we go. And we have that. The thing about this, we actually need a header. So what people often use is a two, two, one piece of 2 by 8 back to back with a piece of plywood in between that offers you with the actual whole thing to be covered but 
I'm going to decide to leave that so I can put a window in here to possibly aerate my uh, building more or I could close it up also. It's up to you guys what you guys want to do. I'm going to leave it as it is for now as shown. So.